Hello everybody, it's me Nate aka Devil Dog and I'm back with another game review. This time I'm reviewing Them's Fighting Herds on PS5. Keep in mind all the versions are the same except naturally the PS5 version has higher resolution, uh, some different bells and whistles with some better lighting and definitely more frames per second. So if you're able to play this on the PS5 or Xbox Series X, I highly recommend it. Visually it is a vastly improved version of the game. Now, what exactly is this game? Well, I'll tell you. It was published by Maxim Games and developed by Main6, no pun intended, and just released on October 18th of 2022 on the PS5, the PS4, Xbox One Series, and Nintendo Switch. It is an indie fighting game that has all female characters and is considered a spiritual successor to uh, the game that was in development known as My Little Pony Fighting is Magic. Now, uh, this has been around for quite a long time and you can go back into the YouTube videos and search and see. Uh, but uh, these uh, six people decided to make their own fighting game based off of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and they got a good amount of it done until naturally uh, they got a cease and desist order from Hasbro so they had to stop all work of what they had been doing and they decided you know what fine we'll just make our own game from the ground up and they were able to get the creator of the show Lauren Faust on board to help out with character designs and uh, also some of the voice actors actually re returned to play new characters as well for the voiceover work and they were able to get enough money through a crowdfunded uh, Indiegogo uh, in order to make the game. And uh, this game has been in development for quite a long time. I mean, you could play the PC version quite a long time ago where they kept doing updates and adding stuff to it. And uh, it is basically a fighting game. Um, with the heart and the soul of My Little Pony. I, I'm not kidding. And actually, it's a pretty dang good fighting game, too. It consists of your standard issue light attacks, your medium attacks, your heavy attacks, and your magic attacks, along with natural tons of different combos, super moves, and finishers. Now, there's not going to be any fatalities in this, don't get me wrong, um, but they do have some pretty good over-the-top finisher moves in this, and a rather deep combo system, honestly. And they do allow you to map the buttons uh, on whatever system you're using on different controller buttons so that actually helped quite a bit I, I was able to map the buttons in a certain way to make it easier for me to play now as for the overall game it consists of seven different playable characters um, with uh, four more to release at a later date as DLC for something from a season pass it also has eight different stages that you can play through and something new when you play online you have a choice of a regular lobby which they call the original old lobby or the pixel art, um, or lobby. The pixel lobbies, as you can see here, are actually kind of intriguing and I kind of like them. You've got a classic 16-bit uh, uh, art style um, pixel world that your character goes around. You meet up with real people that you can challenge them to matches. You can also find salt, as they call it, that you can go uh, to the snippy dipty little vendor here and uh, buy items for your character, like cosmetic items. I haven't noticed any actual real money needed it's just as you find salt throughout the little area that you're looking through it actually has a day and night cycle which is weird as well and that is their idea of a lobby now keep in mind this does have cross play and everything else to it so this is a nice little addition uh, to a very unique way to make a lobby for your online mat you know game I, I thought it was actually really adorably cute and you know neat it's a nice fresh addition now along with this there also is a story mode which consists of you playing as uh, Arizona the cow as you go through and with this big epic story that they have that is shown in cutscenes that are uh, you know they're the backgrounds aren't animated the characters are kind of sort of animated and there's no voice uh, no voices at all but as you go through this story uh, you play as Arizona other characters as you go through these different pixel art areas fighting these enemies and um, it'll take you about four hours or so to get through their story mode in this so it's it's not a bad story mode it's um, really really unique actually the way they do this it definitely ain't up there with no Mortal Kombat once again I shouldn't compare it to that because heck this is a very small group that made this game and they made it with a lot of passion and love and it does show especially with the animation ha hands down uh, the color the animation of the characters and everything I absolutely do like this game uh, 
Um, now, the other thing is this game finally did see, uh, receive a physical launch. You can actually go and get a physical copy of it, which is nice to see because I was kind of worried early on that this would be something that would be digital only. But no, they actually do have a physical release that you can go and pick up. And like I said, it is a fighting game with seven different playable characters currently, as you see them here. Each one has their own different moveset, uh, their own specials, their own style and flavor to them. Uh, the backgrounds are, are beautiful. Honestly, you can look at this and immediately go, yeah, this is uh, from the My Little Pony universe. But don't worry. Don't worry, it's not. They created their own universe now because they were like, you know what, Hasbro, screw you. Fine, we'll just make our own universe with our own characters and still come out with the fighting game that we always wanted to have. And <laughs> to give credit where credit's due, they really have done a good job with this. Like I said, the different pixel lobbies, I absolutely enjoy. I think they're neat. The story mode of going through almost, it feels like playing like a Zelda game, like a classic pixel art Zelda game. Even some of the sound effects sound remarkably similar to some Zelda sound effects. Um, and uh, I found myself smiling and enjoying this game all the way through i mean uh, yes i am a brony i openly admit that uh but if this game sucked i i would have said this game sucks but for a fighting game that only costs forty dollars for a physical copy version of it um honestly uh, if you are a fan of fighting games, I can recommend this. It does have enough different characters. It's not like some of them that have 80 different characters, okay? Uh, I mean, honestly, you're going to be lucky in the future if this ever even gets close to having 12 playable characters. But once again, it, it's made from like six people. So what do you expect? I do like their name of the development team, Main Six. You know, M-A-N-E, <laughs> little tongue-in-cheek jab at uh, MLP. Uh, but in the end, I can have to actually say, once again, I found this to be a very enjoyable, fun, uh, quite challenging game to figure out how to do all the moves. Um, the fact of the story mode, having this mixture of pixel art and these little areas where you have to do like jumping puzzles and stuff like that through it, honestly, was kind of cool. I kind of liked it. Um, the playability is really, really good. It's fast. It's frantic. I haven't had any issues with latency. The lobbies, while they don't seem to be majorly super packed full, I didn't have any issues in finding another person to play against. Uh, but in the end, for $40, if you like fighting games and if you are a fan of the MLP universe, I can recommend that you go and pick up Them's Fighting Hers. It was a lot better than I expected, and I kind of never really thought in a million years that this game would turn out as good as it has. Mad props to the development team for the hard work and uh, effort they put into this title. And uh, honestly, once again, if you have a chance to play this, I, I would say try it out. You might be surprised to find out how deep this game really is in terms of its different movesets. Uh, but in the end, that is strictly just my opinion. I'd love to hear what you think of this game, if you played it or seen it. Please leave in the comments below. I will answer each and every single one of your comments. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And remember, here at Devil Dog Gaming, we always end our videos by saying, Have fun, play hard, and remember, people, the devil is in the details. Peace out until next time. Hi, Nate from Devil Dog Gaming. The devil's in the details. Oh, um, this is Fluttershy here, and this is Devil Dog Gaming. The devil's in the details. Hi, Nate. Thanks so much for being a huge fan of the show. We think that you're awesome, too.